Inside the box, you'll find all the hardware you need to successfully install Lucy. That includes the smart frame, the scout, the dashboard, the Lucy Link hub and wheelchair key, and the drill guides, instructions, and screws you'll need to complete the installation. You'll also need the following tools to install Lucy. A 3mm and 5mm Allen wrench, a 13mm box end wrench, an 8mm socket wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, some masking tape, a drill, and snips or scissors. Prepare the wheelchair base. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to loosen the two bolts in the back cover and remove the back cover. If the wheelchair has a seat elevator, raise the seat now to make installation easier. Alternatively, if the wheelchair has tilt, tilting the seat back can also provide adequate room to work. Otherwise, remove the two thumb screws under the front of the seating assembly and flip the seating assembly back to open the battery compartment and gain adequate access. If the wheelchair has headlights, remove them to make room for the side smart frames. They will be reattached afterwards. Flip the seating assembly back to open the battery compartment and gain access to the headlight wires. Remove the zip ties that hold them together. Lower the seating assembly back into place and remove the headlights. They'll be reattached afterwards. Resecure the seating assembly to the base by reinserting the thumb screws. You can discard the screws that you remove in this step. After removing the headlights, turn the wheelchair on and raise the seat completely to allow adequate room to work. Place the three parts of the smart frame on the floor around the wheelchair. Beginning on the left side, place one M8 clip-on nut on the metal rail with the threaded extension facing into the wheelchair and the flat side facing out. Line the opening up with the first hole of the metal rail. Attach the left smart frame to the wheelchair base with two M8 by 16 millimeter screws through the top two holes in the left smart frame. Use an M5 Allen wrench to tighten the screws. The manufacturer recommends 25 Newton meters of torque on these fasteners. Insert two M5 by 8 millimeter screws into the lower holes on the frame and tighten them using a three millimeter Allen wrench. Before fully tightening the screws, ensure that the bubble on the bubble level is between the lines. Repeat the process on the right side of the wheelchair. If the wheelchair has headlights, reattach them now. Using the contents of the headlight kit, slide a rubber washer onto the threaded stud. Insert the M4 by 25 millimeter screw into the headlight and attach the headlight to the smart frame. Repeat on the other side. Connect Lucy to the wheelchair. If the battery compartment was opened, flip the seating assembly back into place and reinsert the thumb screws to hold the seating assembly in place. Remove one reflector from the rear cover by rotating the tabs on the inside and pushing the reflector out. Route the two RNET cables from the rear smart frame through the opening in the rear cover. On the back of the wheelchair, unplug the main RNET cable on the far left and plug it into the female RNET cable end on Lucy. Plug the male RNET cable end from Lucy into the main wheelchair RNET outlet on the far left. Turn the wheelchair on to ensure all power cables have been properly connected. You may have to turn the wheelchair on twice for RNET to completely reset. Turn off the wheelchair. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to reattach the rear cover on the wheelchair using the original bolts. On both sides of the wheelchair, remove the forwardmost bolt completely, and then loosen the rear bolt. Install the rear smart frame by slotting it onto the rear bolts. Replace the rear bolts with M8 by 16mm screws on both sides. Make sure the bubble is between the lines on the level, taped to the smart frame, and tighten all four screws. 
The manufacturer recommends 25 newton meters of torque on these fasteners. Remove the bubble level once the smart frame is level and secure. Choose the correct drill guide depending on the wheelchair's foot plate, single foot plate, or in this case, dual individual foot plates. Tear out the drilling guide along the perforated lines. Line up the template as shown in the images on the drill guide and tape it to the foot plate. Loosely insert one M5 by 8 mm Phillips head screw through the template and into the threaded hole to help keep the template in place. Now drill the two holes with a 5 16 inch drill bit as marked on the template. Remove the M5 by 8 mm screw and discard the template. Place the scout on top of the footplate, aligning the screw holes in the bracket with the drilled holes in the footplate. Loosely reinsert the M5 by 8 mm screw into the threaded hole. Raise the footplate. Place the number 10 washers on the remaining two M5 by 8 mm Phillips head screws and insert them into the 5 16 inch holes from the bottom of the footplate. Tighten all three screws. Route the scout cable along the side and top of the foot plate using the zip ties and cable clips along the way as needed. Before applying cable clips, be sure to thoroughly clean the plastic with an alcohol wipe. Make sure you do not route the cable under the leg rest post. Raise the leg rest to its fullest extent and continue routing the cable along the side of the leg rest, routing toward the back of the wheelchair. Follow existing cabling and cable clips where possible. Ensure there's enough slack in the USB cable so that the seat and leg rest can move to their full extent without causing tension on the cable. All cables should be installed, bundled, and routed so as to avoid damage to the cables through pinching, dragging, and to avoid excess cable length that could lead to entanglement. To install the dashboard, you'll need to select the correct dashboard bracket depending on the wheelchair's drive system. Today we'll be installing on a standard joystick, also known as a CJSM joystick. Choose the correct left or right dashboard reference card. Use four 440 by 316 inch screws to attach the bracket to the back of the dashboard. Sandwich the dashboard reference card between them and ensure that the cable is routed correctly. Note that for newer wheelchairs, the joystick module is taller, so the dashboard should only be attached to the top holes on the bracket. Insert screws into the top holes on the dashboard to ensure the unit stays sealed. Use a size 5 Allen wrench to loosen the clamp holding the joystick module in place. Remove the joystick module and use a size 3 Allen wrench to remove the joystick module from the metal bracket. Insert the dashboard bracket between the armrest and the joystick module and reinsert the screws. Now route and zip tie the cable out of the way of the charge port, as shown. Reinsert the post in the armrest and use a size 5 Allen wrench to tighten the clamp. To install the dashboard, you'll need to select the correct dashboard bracket depending on the wheelchair's drive system. In this case, a color joystick. Remove the joystick module from the armrest of the wheelchair using a 5 mm Allen wrench. Remove the two screws on the bottom of the joystick on either side of the adjustment rod using a 3 mm Allen wrench. Feed the joystick cable through the split in the color joystick bracket. Choose the correct left or right dashboard reference card. Use four 440 by 316 inch screws to attach the color joystick dashboard bracket to the back of the dashboard with the dashboard reference card behind the bracket. Route the dashboard cable along the lower inside bend of the bracket and place the joystick module inside the bracket. Turn the joystick module upside down and slide the color joystick spacer in between the joystick module and the bracket. Insert two M5 by 16 millimeter hex head screws, tightening them with a three millimeter Allen wrench. 
Regardless of the type of dashboard bracket that was used, route the dashboard cable toward the back of the wheelchair, following existing cabling and using zip ties as needed. We're going to use the Omni module to go with this Omni One. Next, choose which side you want the dashboard help to be on. I usually put it towards the user, so I'm going to use this card. So now we're going to mount the dashboard to the bracket, and we're going to take our card and sandwich it in between. This will all be attached with four screws. Now we're ready to install this onto the Omni. I'm going to unscrew the existing screws from the Omni. Okay, I'm going to take my bracket here. And I'm going to insert it on the top holes between the mount and the Omni. Once you've finished, you'll know you've done it correctly if you can see the charge port here. And that's all there is to it. Regardless of the type of dashboard bracket that was used, route the dashboard cable toward the back of the wheelchair, following existing cabling and using zip ties as needed. All cables should be installed, bundled, and routed so as to avoid damage to the cables through pinching, dragging, and to avoid excess cable length that could lead to entanglement. Use an alcohol wipe to clean a flat area on the wheelchair seat back. Remove the Velcro backing from the Lucy Link Hub back cover and affix it to the cleaned area so that the key is oriented as shown and the cable opening is at the bottom. If the wheelchair has a seat elevator, clip the existing zip ties along the drag chain and route the rear smart frame USB cable along existing cabling and through the drag chain, zip tying it in place. Leave about four to six inches of slack in the USB cable before inserting it into the drag chain so that the smart frame can be rotated out of the way to allow for battery changes. Note, the Lucy Link hub may be placed anywhere on the seat back, as long as it does not limit the range of motion of the seat, armrests, etc. On wheelchairs that do not have a seat elevator, bundle up the excess USB cable and zip tie it to the back of the chair. Use a Phillips screwdriver to open the Lucy Link hub. Plug the Scout and Dashboard USB cables into the Lucy Link hub and connect the Smart Frame USB cable to the Lucy Link hub. Place the cables so that the Lucy Link hub can be closed. Close the hub, reinsert and tighten the three screws. Note, it may be easier to place the cables and close the Lucy Link hub by removing the back from the Velcro and holding the Lucy Link hub horizontally. All cables should be installed, bundled, and routed so as to avoid damage to the cables through pinching, dragging, and to avoid excess cable length that could lead to entanglement. Confirm the dashboard reference card is attached to the Lucy dashboard. Confirm that the sensor status light on the dashboard is orange. Press the Lucy button and make sure the Lucy button lights up blue. Confirm that the chair can move in each direction when clear and that the chair stops in a blocked direction of travel. Congratulations, you've installed Lucy. Before releasing the wheelchair to the user, the system will need to be configured. With the user in the wheelchair, follow the instructions in the Lucy Quick Setup Guide.